What's good? You can see it from everybody's Twitter back in the next video. They just announced the brand new Ashton TCG exclusive archetype. And you know, after reading these cards, I'm pleasantly surprised. I think this deck will actually be somewhat relevant after the next set when we get at least wave two of the new support. Guys, take a look at this. We have a couple of new cards. This is somehow based off of, I guess, like a Dark Souls-esque theme. It's about a dragon who has destroyed a uh, city in the past, and now the ghosts are coming back to kind of relive that uh, whole catastrophe. So we have Vados, the Eruption Dragon of Extinction. It's a level 9 Dark Pyro Monster. By the way, guys, these guys seem to be Dark Pyro Monsters. Unfortunately, not Fire, meaning there will be no Fire Link shenanigans, at least to the extent of what Snake Eyes and Fire King can do. But this card says, during your main phase, or the main phase, rather, if this card is in your hand, quick effect, you can target a one card in a field zone. Special summon this card to your opponent's field, and if you do destroy that card in the field zone, then you can add to your hand or set one Ashen Continuous Trap from your deck. The other effect is, if this card is sent from your opponent's field to the graveyard, you can destroy all monsters on the field, hard ones per turn. That's 2800 attack. Okay, so... This has effectively become a hand trap. Guys, we're getting a hand trap as a TCG exclusive that says during the main phase of either player's turn, if it's in your hand, quick effect, you can target a card in a field zone, special summon this to your opponent's field, then destroy that card, which is really interesting. Now, it got me thinking, in the Fire King matchup, it kind of makes it so you have to keep Fire King Sanctuary on the board now. Luckily, we have a card called Sanctuary, which actually has a secondary effect to protect the Fire King Island on the field. But if you don't have Sanctuary and we go Vados, pop your Fire King Island, you can effectively Raigeki their entire board because Fire King Island has a mandatory trigger effect that destroys all monsters on the field. In fact, twice because it's going to destroy Vados and then Vados is going to trigger again and destroy some more monsters. So really, really interesting card. I think this card could definitely be relevant moving forward, even not in the Ashen core, but as a hand trap. If there's like a very, very field spell heavy metagame, this could be very, very powerful. It's effectively a better copy of Ghost Ogre, in fact. It's like an MST you can use during your turn. We have King of the Ashen Cities, level eight dark power monster. I love this art, by the way. This guy looks really, really cool. He says, if Obsidum, the Ashen City, is in the field zone, you can special summon this card from your hand. Hard ones per turn. During the main phase, you can special summon one Ashen monster from your hand, except King of the Ashen City. Or if your opponent controls a monster with 2,800 or more attack, you can special summon it from your deck instead. Very interesting. So I guess the core principle of this deck is to summon Vados onto your opponent's side of the field, which is very, very consistent lore-wise. You know, they're battling this big dragon. And then you can special summon King of the Ashen City if you have the field spell in the field zone. And then you can special summon from your deck. So it's kind of interesting how that works. Then next we have Hero of the Ashen City. He's uh, level 7. If Obsidian of the Ashen City is in the field zone, you can special summon this card from your hand. I guess they all share this effect. You can only special summon this once per turn. During the main phase, quick effect, you can target one Pyro monster on the field, destroy it. Then if you destroyed Vados by this effect, you can place one Obsidum, the Ashen City, from your deck face up in your field zone. 2600 attack as well. Very nice uh, effect here. I think the key takeaway from this is that it can target any Pyro monster on the field, meaning we can actually target all of the Snake Eyes cards. So that's something that's really, really relevant. These guys are like anti-Snake Eyes. Like, I, I could be uh, on my bonus turn, have the, the hero on the field, and they have to go normal summon Snake Eye Ash. I can just pop it immediately so they don't get the effect to trigger and tribute to cards to spend summon out the Flamberg from their deck. Very, very interesting. Priestess of the Ashen City. This is a level four pyro monster. Guys, this is the premier bonfire target. Bonfire is about to go crazy. Yeah, this says if Obsidum is in your field zone, you can spend summon it just like the other ones. And then if this card is normal or special summon, you can add one Ashen card from your deck to your hand, except Priestess. So it's basically a Stratos that can be special summoned out. And then from there, you can add all the Ashen cards. One thing to note is that Vados is actually not an Ashen card itself. So that's not going to be searchable. So that's uh, something that I guess they intentionally did. And then we have Obsidum, the Ashen City field spell card. Face up special summon monsters your opponent controls become Pyro during your turn only. Okay, so that means that Hero can actually start popping any monster your opponent controls during our own turn. And then during the end phase, you can target an Obsidum, the Ashen City in your graveyard, place it on the bottom deck, then draw one card. So that's kind of interesting. So if you have consecutive copies in your graveyard, we can recycle them and draw a card. If this card in the field zone is destroyed or banished, you can spell summon one Ashen monster from your deck. Very interesting. Now, what does this mean? Well, for those of you guys that don't know, field spells are actually destroyed by game mechanics when you activate another field spell from your hand when that field spell is replaced it doesn't just get sent to the graveyard it actually gets destroyed so back in the day this was how gear town decks functioned because gear town would trigger when you set a card over it triggering that uh destruction mechanic and then triggering the effect in the graveyard because it's technically destroyed still 
by game mechanics. This card does not have to be destroyed by card effects, it just has to be destroyed, period. And because if it's, an, it's an if effect, it means it actually does not miss timing when you activate a field spell over it. Previously, Gear Town, you had to set a field spell over it specifically, because if you activated one, the last thing that happened was you activating a new field spell, so that one would miss timing. But uh, yeah, not to go on a tangent, Obsidian will not miss timing. Then Awakening of Vados, this is an ultra rare quick play spell card that's also not Ashen. Okay, it says place one Obsidian, the Ashen City from your deck, face up in either field spell zone. Then if your opponent controls a card in their field zone, you can add one level five or higher dark pyro monster from your deck to your hand. Okay, so we can activate this, place Obsidian in our opponent's field, and then add a Vados to our side of the field. Uh, it has a restriction for the rest of the turn after this card resolves. You cannot special summon from the deck or extra deck except Pyro Monsters. Okay, so I guess we are purely playing Pyro. We're locked in a Pyro. I'm not sure how effective this would be uh, in terms of splashability. But again, the Snake Eyes cards are splashable. Unfortunately, these guys are not fire type, nor do they have a level 1 fire monster. But potentially, this is something that could uh, work with them because they are Pyros. You would be locked out of the extra deck. There are no relevant extra deck Link Monsters in the Pyro atmosphere yet. Hopefully that comes in the second wave, but this card is very, very powerful. I'm already brainstorming ideas. Activating Vados, uh, we can go ahead and then special summon out the Vados, pop the field spell that we placed. Absidum, Absidum rather, will trigger in their graveyard. We can special summon out King. Uh, King's effect will allow us to uh, activate and special summon a monster from our hand or alternatively i guess we could just summon out priestess and then priestess effect can add an ashen card so you do need multiple cards i guess to combo off but hopefully there's some more support that makes this a lot more relevant so far vado seems to be very very relevant in my opinion uh just as a hand trap potentially and then the last card is a trap ashen for eternity it's a continuous trap card that can be set off of vados or added when this card is activated you can add one vados or one ashen monster from your graveyard to your hand interesting you can target one face up monster your opponent controls that you own. Take control of that monster, then you can make all face-up monsters your opponent controls lose attack equal to the target's monster's original attack until the end of the turn. So this allows us to add back resources from our graveyard, and then we can also steal a Vados that we put on our opponent's side of the field. Or better yet, if our opponent is playing like Mind Control, Change of Heart, stuff like that, Triple Tactics Talent, this is actually Counter Tactics Talent because you steal back the monster that they control that you own. So that's really, really interesting. I mean, yeah, so far, it seems like they're not cohesive enough to actually be relevant on a deck of their own, but I really like the design of Vados. I think this is a really, really important card that is effectively adding another hand trap to the card pool. Really, really interesting stuff. And because it's field spell reliant, you know, there are some cards that are in the uh, current card pool that are very, very field spell dependent, like IAS, that new alien support guy that can spell summon himself from the graveyard while your opponent controls a field spell. So that's just something that we can take advantage of. I know there are other couple of field spell monsters as well, so lots of opportunity there. There's obviously some hidden potential with cards like the Earthbounds as well, which require a field spell in the field spell zone to take full advantage of their effects. And even cards like the Abyss Dragon Sword Soul, you know, this is something that you can potentially trigger. I'm just excited to see what we get next. I know everyone online is saying this archetype is absolute trash from what we've seen so far, but guys, I think it seriously has potential. I'm reading these cards and they're definitely modernized. Like, you know, the effects to special summon from deck. We have effects that a Stratos effect to add any card. We have a hand trap quick play that destroys field spells. We have a quick play spell that's really, really busted. And then, you know, we have a quick effect pop as well. So if there's some cohesive one card way to actually set up this full uh, engine onto the board immediately, then that would make this deck somewhat viable, I think. So guys, what do you think about the Ashen so far? Let us know in the comments below. I really wanted to make this because I, I'm really like, I love the card artwork for one. And I actually think that this deck will have potential. It's a lot, almost like the Burning Abyss. You know, it has like that kind of cohesion, like the modernized card effects that I think will have a lot of potential in the future. So yeah, let us know in the comments what you think and thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys in the next video.